Hi everyone and welcome back for what will probably be the last episode in our advanced dialogue tutorial series. In the last episode we added the ability to add questions and respond to those questions accordingly. Now we'll look at how we can round things off with a few little, or nice, nice little extras. So in my dialogue tree I set up my responses such as this. Um, I want to end my dialogue at, each, and, at the end of each one using our end dialogue task that we made previously. And I don't think you can double branch these, no. So you have to copy and paste these for each branch or dialogue. Like so. Making sure that your display line is to the left of the end dialogue. The number in this little bubble here should be lower than the number in the end dialogue. Okay. So there's our ending of dialogue. So if I test this out now, and I choose a color, choose blue, ends the dialogue, and away I go. So what I want to look at doing now is adding to this dialog box a text above here, which holds the NPC's name. So if I go find my UI for my dialog box. You can see here I've got a text block that we already put into place and that is linked to a variable called speaker name. Okay, so I need to change that to match whatever, uh, whoever is saying whatever text. Okay, so let's start off with just by doing the NPC here. So first of all the NPC needs to have a name associated to it. So on my NPC class, I'm going to give it a variable name. And it's going to be a text and make it editable. Compile that. And I can cl now click on him. And I should be able to see his name as an option to, in my default settings. So here I'm going to call him Brian. Okay. So he has a name, but now we have to get linked to that UI. So the way we're going to do that is looking at the dialog box here. We need to be able to get the uh, the send to this dialog box who is currently talking to it. Okay, so if I go into my do, 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 dialog tree and start dialog, where we set the visibility of the head up display dialog box. In that dialog box, I can also set its name. So if I type in name and set speaker name we can now set this to a value and the value is what we're going to get from our controlled pawn so drag your controlled pawn out if I do it start actually here drag it out and cast to NPC that's where that variable is, in, is stored and from there I'm going to promote that to a variable and store it NPC pawn. So I've got a reference to my NPC there, which means over here I can drag my NPC pawn variable out, choose get, and then from there get the name. Like so. Click compile, and hopefully it should now work. And there's Brian. And you can use the exact same method if you want a little picture, uh, like avatar picture. Totally exactly the same concept, uh, exact same path, nothing different there. Um, if you're going to go into loads of details, such as their name, pictures, anything else, um, you may want to do a data structure instead. Uh, but it's exactly the same setup, it's just using a data structure instead. So I can cycle through Brian's dialogue, and he tells me what he talks about. And there you go. So something else we can try and do as well is we can make it so our when we hover over a button in our question, it highlights that button. So to do that, we have to go into our response list. Uh, sorry, response UI. Where we've got our button set up, and we need to change its on hovered ability. So what we can do is on hovered 
We could do it up here. Uh, mm, I'm going to change the background colour of the whole entire thing. That's fine. On hovered, we click on the on hovered event. And we are going to set its background colour to uh, not be invisible. Okay, so background colour, you can grab from your button variable there. Just get, and go set background colour. Like so. And over here, I can choose what colour I want it to be. Like so. And it should now highlight, but it won't reset back. Okay. So I need to tell it now to unhovered, change it back to its original one. Okay. So let's have a look what it's originally set at. I just set it down to the alpha to be zero. So in here we've got unho unhovered. Click on that. And exactly the same. Just copy paste that. But I'm going to change my background colour to have zero in the alpha channel, which will make it see through. And there we have it. Now this response this will change based on uh, if you have two, only two values, it will only have two buttons here, uh, based on whatever you type into the dialog tree uh, when you ask a question. So if you only have one of these removed, so let's uh, delete that one. It should only spawn three buttons. Like so. Okay, so you can have as many as you like, or as little as you like. Obviously, if you go too many, it will go off the screen. So just be wary of that. Um, but you choose red. And it shouldn't break either. So if, if you were to add more uh, takeaway options, it, the conversation will still go. It just won't go down that branch in the dialogue tree. Um, and that's kind of it, really. Um, if there's any other little features and little side things you want to know what to do in the advanced dialogue uh, tutorial, uh, please let us know in the comment below. Uh, if you have used this tutorial to make something for your game, please uh, be really interesting to see pictures or videos uh, of your game using this system. Um, I'm always fascinated to see how people are using my videos to make their games, and I, I'm really, uh, really interested in seeing the games that are coming out of it. So yeah, please make sure you leave a comment below and subscribe to future content as well. If you would like this content and you want to see more of it early before anyone else, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey, just like these people have. Big shout out and thank you to all of them, especially those at the top tier um, who are donating the most money. It's amazing that you guys are offering as much money um, and I can offer you my one-to-one -one support uh, with your own projects as well. So thanks again to everyone for watching and I hope you enjoyed this series and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.